you. Uh, Stephen Killick. Thank you very much. Mr Thompson, if I could just go back to this question of uh, the WTO schedules and that we would need to, um, I think the right word would be create or at least plug into uh, if we leave in the event of no deal. Can you just talk in a little bit more detail about how that would work in practice and how long you think it would take for the UK to um, establish a system based on those schedules uh, and whether you think that's feasible before the 29th of March? So, so the truth is I don't know. In answer to the earlier question, the I think I was clear that the responsibility for deciding on tariffs is shared between the Treasury and the Department for International Trade. My responsibility would be somebody would hand me a schedule and we would put that into the chief system so that it flowed through into the customs declaration. So um, let's say that you know it's the 30th of March and there's a lorry carrying certain goods uh, that needs to go through a border. If the schedules have not been agreed and settled and gone through the legislative process, and I think very interesting, Chair, that we, we perhaps need to get that clarity from the Department for International Trade and the Treasury as to how exactly that would work and what the decision-making process would be. But if that hasn't been settled, then, I mean, there's a system of barcodes and things, isn't there? You, that, that lorry would not be able to pass through the border, is that correct? No, sorry, that, that's not correct. So if I link your question to that, Mr Graham, if, there, if, if the UK has not you're asking me to speculate, but if the UK does not have a tariff, we won't charge a tariff. That doesn't mean it can't get through the border. Oh, so we simply wouldn't charge a tariff at all uh, on com coming in? So if in. somebody does not tell me what the tariff is, I can't charge it? Sure. And that, 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 doesn't, that, that would not prevent you getting through the border? Because the assumption would be there are no tariffs and therefore you can get through the border. But right. to be really, really clear, and I need to continue to reiterate this, that is not my responsibility, <laughs> it's two other people, um, but it would not stop anyone coming through the board. And just, uh, if I could ask you to speculate, I know it's not easy to speculate on these things, but do, do, you, do you think that um, the trade, go if we're for us to export to the European Union, would it be safe to assume that if we've left the European Union without a deal, they would apply w WTO tariffs and schedules to us, to our goods going into their markets. So to reiterate an answer that I think I, I gave, our, our assumption is that they would, uh, the European Union would apply the common external tariff, that is if yeah. you like the standard EU tariff. They vary that tariff um, in, depending on the free trade agreements that they've got and also about trade defence. So um, if I, it's really difficult to give you an example, but in general there's a common tariff and then there's a, there's a sort of bar on that for trade defence in these countries you may want to increase that, that common or you may want to reduce it because we, got, we struck a free trade agreement with South Korea. So you have a common and then you vary. At the minute, the, the chief system handles 44 variants to the common tariff, external mm. tariff EU charges. Um, so the CBI tried to simulate what would be the cost to British exporters of paying the common external tariff and they came in, their estimate was between four and a half and six billion pounds a year. Yes, thank you very much. Um, can I just have one more question? I mean, th this is a broader question to all three, really. And I mean, I, I would like to say that I, I really admire the professionalism and the dedication and the challenges uh, that you're showing and the challenges that you're facing. But what I think you've, you've sort of said to us today, we've got no idea what the French are doing. We've got 145,000 businesses that don't seem to be, uh, it was one or two percent, I think, that have actually seemed to be making inquiries that would suggest that they're preparing for this. We've got no real idea what's going to happen on reciprocal health care. We have a ludicrous amount of primary and secondary legislation that would have to be passed in order to be ready by the 29th of March in the event of no deal. Isn't it absolutely clear that this no deal thing is a charade? That it, it is simply unthinkable that the, European, that the United Kingdom could leave the European Union without a deal? Well, it's, it's for you to describe how you want to describe it and play it back. I don't think it's for us to comment on, on the words that you use. Anyone else care to comment on that? No. Okay. Thank you very much.